So it's a holiday tradition that can be served with a slice of bad wrap. We're talking fruit cake. Here to share a recipe in the CI Kitchen from the Family to Table blog, it's our guest chef, Natalie Kenny Marquez. So uh, usually when you hear fruit cake, you don't really think, oh yeah, I want some of that. Total bad rep, just like you talked about. Yes. When I told someone earlier I was sharing a fruit cake recipe, they're like, on TV? <laughs> That's <laughs> terrible. <laughs> and we were kind of teasing on our um, Facebook Live before the show that um, this isn't your grandma's fruit cake because you're kind of you know, altering it a little bit with your own flair. But is it your grandma's recipe? Great, great grandma's recipe. This is circa 1970s or so, I would say, based on kind of the order of a lot of the recipes that I've been cooking my way through or baking my way through. Yes. I expected there to be a lot more processed or, I don't know, preserved or candied, sugared yes. items in here. And really, it's not. It's the the least of the obscure, odd, or gross fruitcake recipes oh. that I've seen on the internet. Well, okay. Well, then let's talk about what goes into it and get started. So it's pretty simple, and she actually typed in, in parentheses, inexpensive fruitcake. Okay, so she's on a budget this holiday she season. She was on a budget that holiday season. So first we're going to sift together the flour, the sugar, and the baking powder, and then we have this trio of spices, nutmeg, cinnamon, and cloves. It and you smells can, like Christmas in here. That is a holiday candle right there. Yes, so I don't is. think that you're gonna need to have any kind of air freshener or candle or anything <laughs> going when you make this recipe. Like maybe just even bake it for the smell before your family comes over. Get everybody into the holiday spirit. Okay, talk about the importance of sifting. Why not just dump it all in the bowl and give it a good stir? So a couple of things. It adds a little bit of air in there so it lightens it up. This is a very dense and heavy heavy cake. We are going to bake it in a loaf pan, but when I went through my trial runs and making sure this is really going to work the same as it did then <laughs> as it does now, pounds in weight. Really? This is a heavy duty cake, so sifting has got to okay. help it. The other thing is, if you ever get any kind of moisture in any of your flours or anything like that, you don't want those little granules or... Oh, oh geez. Oh. Now we're making sounds, too. Those That's are the Christmas <laughs> bells. <laughs> You don't want any of that in there. You don't oh, want anything so the, crunchy. The so spices get mixed in there too. Yep. Okay. Yes. And then you just sift it in there just like so. It kind of makes it really like fine. Isn't that right? Well, it maybe it makes it fine. It breaks it up just a little bit. Hmm. Okay. So the next thing we're gonna add to it is the butter. Okay, this doesn't look like very much butter. It Usually, is. we I feel like we have more. I know, we're not a lot of butter this time <laughs> around. Too bad. We can put the butter on the fruitcake when we're done. See, okay. there's always a place for butter. Yes. Always, always. Looks like we've got some milk we and an egg. Milk in there. We have an egg, so we'll start mixing this together. And if you want to pour the milk in yeah. the egg. And then the last thing is, in fruitcake, obviously, there's fruit. Yes. Yeah, so what fruit are we adding? So this time her recipe calls for currants and raisins. What's a currant? It's kind of a smaller version of a raisin. That's the thing that I would liken it the most to. Like if you ever go to oh. <laughs> um, have scones, currant scones are really popular. It's a little tricky to find currants maybe at your general grocery stores. So to make it easier for us to make these days, I have two different kinds of raisins, the okay. plump golden and then the regular purple raisins. Oh, there you go. So these go in now as well? Yep. Okay. And then we get an arm workout, trying to mix it all together. Yeah. And then we put it into this loaf pan and we bake it for 45 minutes. Oh, at wow. 350. So it takes a little while. Okay. So your house is going to smell great. Or the, the studio now is going to smell it great. It already does smell amazing. Lots of um, farmers markets have moved indoors for the for the fall and winter season. And so. there's still so many opportunities to shop, to buy gifts, to get things to put on the table. Uh, farms are still, you know, producing in different capacities, depending on if they have hoop houses or greenhouses, lots of root veggies. Still a prime time to shop. Okay, we're going to get this all loaded up in our loaf pan and have the big reveal coming up a little bit later on. If you want to look at Natalie's blog, her Instagram, her Facebook, all of that and the recipe are at sayliving.tv.